Um, you, but don't worry, uh, we can always just disappear off into space. Um, researchers offer advice on how to have gay sex in space. Um, there's an interview with Aidan Messi-Szerzewski giving him <laughs> advice as to how best to do it. That's it, yeah, up in the Senate. And, at, and it's out of this world, apparently. Same-sex couples are more likely to have the same centres of gravity. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't... What does that even mean? Well, this is the Dr. Alexander Leydendecker, which is so, the <laughs> same thing. Um, at least according to NASA, which, yeah, bunch of Nazis. The bunch of Nazis say when the first married couple, both NASA astronauts, flew into orbit together in 1992, the media became obsessed with whether they'd be the first couple to have sex in space. I don't remember this, but I was 12, so... Um, the event launched a minor scandal for the space agency, along with plenty of fodder for newspapers and magazines. Throughout the years, the agency has denied multiple times that any sex has ever occurred in space. Um, imagine having to deny that. Who uh, gives a shit? I don't. I don't. It just made me laugh. Where What practically everyone involved failed to appreciate, you failed to appreciate that, though, was the fact that even before the couple launched on their mission, um, 277 astronauts had already flown into space. And they could have been having sex with each other up there that entire time, the whole time. You, what do you mean? You not? You didn't get any pictures of the moon. What? What I, were you doing? I don't understand what, why it's a problem though. I mean, I understand if you're if there's 170 of you or 270, well, you're doing it all the time. You know, get some <laughs> get some work done, son. I'm not. It's not what I'm paying you for. It's but, not the Senate. But if you've got a couple up there in space, yeah, if they want. I mean, I think it's... what's the matter? If there's no one else around, it's not like it's an indecent expo. There's not many people are going to be looking in the window. <laughs> it's aliens, gang. You filthy mares. Well, it's funny, isn't it? Like that was like that's a, that was a mini scandal. <laughs> Given all the stuff that goes yeah. on, that's a scandal. I hope you washed your helmet. Off. Fucking hell! Stop the press. <laughs> Was a rat married couple both being astronauts? So I suppose they were astronauts. Then they got married. I don't, that makes sense. I suppose you'd, you'd think so, wouldn't you? You'd <laughs> think it was that way round. They met online, like uh, yeah, like a dating app for astronauts. But some of those people are at that like international space station. They're supposed to be there for like a year and months on end and stuff, aren't they? Yeah. You, you know, they'd, they'd be riding a space opera if you weren't allowed to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you've, got have, you've got to have a space wank. After all, why not? <laughs> What yeah. what happens to the fluids though? I know you got well. You have a little like um, Tupperware box stuck to the ceiling, it's floating about. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Mess. That's been what that's about three weeks old. Mess. I don't know. You'd have to have like a Hoover thing at, like on top of the spaceship that would s- suck it up and out into space, and that's how humans came to Earth. That was it. Someone was having a space wank in a spaceship and they had a little hoover thing. They sucked the sperm out and a pound spermia is just that spreading out through the universe. And Big we were all the... Res- <laughs> oh, we solved it. All of these idiots, all they need to do is a podcast. 